we're going to take a look at our Ford 8N. Uh, we're going to give some specs out of this book. This is actually a Ford tractor operator's manual. This is actually a 1994 reprint of the Ford tractor manual. Not sure what year of 8N this actually is. Uh, the wheelbase on it is 70 inches. Overall length is 115 inches. Tire size 419, and that's what's on the front of this. The specs call for a 1028 rear tire. This actually has 12 428s on it. Turning radius of this tractor is about 8 feet. Total weight of the tractor, not including fluids, is 2,410 pounds. The gear ratios of this tractor, uh, first gear, which they refer to as low, and I'll give you the 1500 RPM ratings. Uh, low first gear, 2.77. Second gear, which they refer to as plowing gear, is 3.56. Third gear, which they refer to as cultivating gear, 4.90. Fourth gear, which they refer to as high, 10.23. Reverse gear is 4.55. Fuel tank is loaded just located just ahead of the steering wheel. Capacity is 10 gallons. Engine oil capacity is 5 quarts plus the filter. Transmission holds five gallons of basically the hydraulic oil. Cooling system holds 12 quarts. The air bath cleaner holds one pint of oil and the, the oil actually absorbs the impurities in the air. The engine in this tractor is 119.7 cubic inch. The torque is 92 foot-pounds at 1500 RPM. Compression ratio 6.5 to 1. Maximum horsepower of this tractor for the drawbar in second gear is 23.16. Belt horsepower at 2000 RPM is 27.32. Cylinder bore on this is 3.188 Stroke is 3.75. Idle is right about 400 RPM. It has two compression rings, one oil ring. The firing order is 1, 2, 4, 3. Coaling system holds 12 quarts, like I said before. Has a four blade fan on it. This one is actually equipped with the, I think might be the actual generator that came on. It actually works well. Has a 6 volt battery on it. Has a single plate clutch. Rear axle ratio is 6.66 to 1. Brake types it has, which it has a right and a left brake are called internal expanding. The width of the lining is 2 inches and the length is 12 inches. So your total brake area is 103.3 square inches. The steering wheel diameter on this tractor, which I do believe has the original one, is 18 inches. The hydraulic pump at 1500 RPM is rated at two gallons a minute. Power takeoff at 1500 RPM will be 545 RPM. And now we'll take a look at the actual specs of the tractor. First thing I wanted to say about the color of this tractor, it's been painted a couple of times. The wheels actually are red. They have gray primer showing. There's actually a couple different colors. It's actually some blue paint which shows up there. More noticeable on the gear shift. Like somebody had painted that blue at one time. 
This is the oil bath air filter right here. It has oil in the bottom. This is detached by these two springs here that hold the oil bath up in there. It actually, the oil actually filters out the impurities in the air. Four cylinder engines with spark plugs up on top. There's the carburetor there. No fuel pump on this, it just runs over and down from the fuel tank which is located up in here. Generator is 12 volt. Actually has two headlights on it. And these Ford emblems, the, the Ford is actually raised, it's not just painted on there. It's actually raised into the metal, it's actually raised metal where that is. So as you look at the front, you got two headlights on the front. On this side of the engine. The spec state, it has a four blade fan. This one actually has a five. I don't know if that's a later change to the eight ends or not. Fuel bowl, which I shut off every time. Um, if you don't, the fuel runs out after it sits for an hour or two. Oil filter housing is right in the center of the picture along with the oil fill tube. Six volt starter along with the six volt battery. In order to access the battery or the fuel tank, you raise that. This is the fuel tank and then the battery and the toolbox are located down inside here. It actually has a toolbox. You can put tools in, chain. We keep tools in there to uh, take care of the mower. As we look at the dash, it has an ammeter and it also has an oil pressure gauge. This is the choke. The key is over here. The headlight switch is lo located down there. It actually did not work. I actually replaced it with a push pull off of one of our Bluebird school buses. The seat is actually able to flip up. If it rains, you can actually flip it up. So when you get back on, it'd be dry. The lever right here, which engages a hydraulic pump which is the three-point hitch and the PTO. So in order to run the PTO, that has to be engaged. Clutch pedal is located on the left-hand side. And on the back of this tractor, actually has a tail light, which does work. Currently we're using this tractor on a five-foot bush hog, 60-inch which it runs very well unless the grass and weeds and brush is very high. We mainly use it to mow this field. And there's also one in Milesburg we use to mow. Now we're gonna start it up. It has not been run for a few days. So we will see how well it starts. First, we're gonna turn on the gas. And just give it about Two full turns, that's all the more it needs. We're going to turn the key on. Pull the throttle down a little bit. Make sure it's in neutral. It actually does have an interlock which will not allow you to push the starter button if it is in gear. I'm going to push the clutch in just for safety's sake. It is in neutral. And we're going to hit the starter. And this one problem with taking a video with this, it actually has a spring-loaded choke. I'm going to try to get it to stay out while I start it. Okay, just push the starter button. Pull it, try to 
keep the choke out here. You can see the oil gauge is up. The ammeter will come up higher as we pull the engine RPM up. Pull back on the throttle a little bit. 